What's up, South Point? I'm No Sense. And I'm B Money. And we're here today to talk to you about something that's really near to our hearts, and that's youth ministry. Yeah, youth ministry is a real critical time in our students' hearts and minds. It's like wet cement. And, and we've come up with some killer tips. Well, I don't know about that, but you know, wet cement, you know, you just want to go and stick your hand in it and, and write your name and write the date you was there and all that kind of stuff. That's all right, no, once again, metaphors just go a little too far. No, can, no, we, can we just go no, into once this? Once again, you're calling get... me out on camera, and I don't appreciate that. Why Why can't you just no, do it? No, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Speaking the same language is crucial if you want to be relevant. Hey, and being relevant is really wiggity whack. Hey, just on the DL, a girl the other day was saying that uh, you was pretty fat. That's not cool. No, 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 no. P H A T fat. Pretty, hot, and tempting. I guess that's cool. Salads, greens, peas, cabbage, spinach. That's all foods that today's teens don't know nothing about. Yeah, and just like a baby needs nothing but baby food, a teen needs nothing but pizza. You know, over the years, We've gotten pretty good at eating pizza. Pretty fast. How about, you want to race? You don't want to race. Let's go. You mark, you sit, go. Don. Keep cheating. You know, a lot of youth pastors get into youth ministry because they really didn't have a lot of friends in high school. Yeah, that's that's... That's really not a tip. We don't have a tip for that one. We just thought that'd be useful. Yeah. Hey, nowadays, if you're going to be a youth pastor, you need to have the look of a youth pastor. Gone are them days with the with the soul patch and the gold tees. Matter of fact, B Money has a new look that that youth pastor should represent themselves after. Somebody say my name. Yeah, we did. <laughs> it's a. Uh... My Bin Laden. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. It's uh, awesome. Agreed. <laughs> yeah. You know, occasionally a youth pastor will have a parent complain about some sort of activity or teaching method, and you can try and deal with that. But what we tell you to do is completely, utterly ignore them. You know, a youth pastor friend of ours, Lee Prince, decided to play a game of ultimate football one time where they replaced the football with a dead piglet. There's just nothing wrong with that. No, some parent threatened to call PETA or something, <laughs> but you just don't worry about that sort of stuff. Hey, what you do in that situation, you put that parent on permanent hold. Yeah. Hey, there's one thing in student men that needs an overhaul. Student ministry, not student men. Well, it's, it's the same thing. Student ministry, student men, same thing. Look, here we go again hey. with your overactive metaphors. Hey, you called me out on camera again. But anyways, we need to overhaul our lock-ins. And we think that it's time to take your lock-ins to the max. To the max. Hey, it's time to go beyond no sleep. I'm talking about no games, no food, no electricity, no air conditioner, no nothing. Nothing. No, 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 no. Chachi, if, if you cut out all that stuff, nobody's going to come to your lock-in. Exactly. Hey, thanks for tuning in for our tips on how to build a better youth ministry. Remember, we're changing lives before the cement dries. No, it, it's fine. Uh, can we, can, okay, at least can we end it with some uh, classic no, choreography let's, and stuff? Let, and, let, let's yeah, just no, end no. it and we'll be done.
up. Scary. Scary, cool.